today we're going over a tune-up on a still FS90R. We're going to start with taking the spark plug wire off, and that's going to keep the machine from starting. And then we have three screws that hold the engine cover on. We have to take the engine cover off to replace the primer bulb that's cracked because the engine cover is over a couple screws and makes it where you can't get them out. You can see the primer bulb right there. Taking the engine cover off gives full access to the primer bulb. While we're under here, we'll go ahead and take the spark plug out now. Still provides all of the tools with the weed eaters that you need to do the tune-up, except for a Phillips screwdriver, which you will see in a minute. We'll take the spark plug out. It's pretty oil fouled. This weed eater is about four years old and it's never had a tune-up. Uh, I neglected it a little bit and it also sat out in some elements, which is why it looks so aged. Now I have a shed that I keep them in there. You can see it compared to the new spark plug. This ought to help it run much better. We're always gonna put our spark plugs in by hand except for the final tightening, especially on aluminum cylinder heads. If you try to start it with a wrench and get it cross-threaded, you're gonna rip out the threads and you'll have a bad time. Just tighten that down, not even half a turn. Here's where I discover that I need a Phillips screwdriver because the blade is just too wide on that. Here's my nice little tool set that I use for most of my projects. This is a number two Phillips bit. It works, but if I had my preference, I would have grabbed a number one Phillips bit. And I'll just get through getting that primer bulb off of there. The ma a, a magnetic tip is also an important thing to have on this. Steel screws, it just makes it a lot easier. We're also going to be replacing the air filter, so we'll take the filter cover off. Here's our new bag of parts, air filter, primer bulb, and we'll leave the fuel filter in the bag so it's easier to find later. And if you guys can see that, that primer bulb is just completely shot. And there's the new one. Put it in there, pull it up, make sure it's suited, get everything close to lined up. Reinstallation is where the magnetic tip on the screwdriver makes things a lot easier because it'll hold the screws on there instead of fumbling around with all of those with those tiny little screws trying to get them in the holes. Let's check out this air filter. Yeah, very dirty compared to the new one. So these have two parts. They have a woven main filter and then have a built-in foam pre-filter. The pre-filter catches all of the bigger debris like flying bits of grass, uh, larger chunks of dust, and then that lets the woven air filter filter out the smaller particles like fine dust. And get the engine cover put back on, work the spark plug boot through and get our screws put back in. A little bit of wiggling required to get the screw holes lined up. This little tool also came with the still weed eater. Now we need to get the fuel filter out of there. We need something long enough to get it out of there. I thought that this was long enough, but it was not. And so our bigger tool that came with the weed eater is perfect for this job. Fishing it out of there, it's a little bit slick. And so once you have hold of it, don't let go of the fuel line. If it slips back down in there, it's gonna be difficult to get out. You just have to work with the spark plug wire a little bit. It has a, a dust seal. And then we're gonna see if it starts. Just checking the primer bulb right now. Making sure it's pulling fuel through. and lock the throttle in the start position. 
hey, Cory, you forgot something. What'd you forget? Oh yeah, it helps to have the choke on. Give it just a little more fuel. And there we go. It sounds a lot healthier than it did before. Easier to start once you have the choke on. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe for more videos like this. And we will see you guys later.